Why did I just say? We're at the Chicago Auto Show. S pound 16, bro. Oh, yeah. What does that stand for? I have no idea. I had to check my Chicago Twitter. Auto Show. Auto Show. 2016. Oh, hashtag yeah. pound. Do you, do you hit the pound sign a lot? Yeah. Okay. So we're here to talk about all the manufacturers here today. A lot of them have coffee, and that's probably one of the best features. So far, who's got the best coffee? Uh, Buick. They give you the most bang for your buck. Buick, because it's the first one I've had, but Volvo has one behind us right here. Volvo? Volvo. Oh, it's Volvo. I always get it wrong. You know, I would say Infinity because uh, it was a lot classier in that area than Buick. Did you feel like you were in an upscale lounge? I did. I felt like I was really living the Chicago lifestyle. Hey, we have the new owner of the new Bugatti Veyron. <laughs> uh, what's it called? I don't know. You were looking at it. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Look, it's got a red flashing light on the door to tell you it's locked. Oh, wow. This, this thing's all carbon fiber. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Not till now. I don't pay attention to the cars that cost $2.6 million. And that begs the question, why? This is such a great paint color, too. I just don't know how you can stay away from it. I know this. the Smurf blue wheels would look good on any car. Let's go take a look at a real car. So we found a real car. What is it? A little four-cylinder, or I'm sorry, a little Camry-powered Lotus. But it's supercharged. Oh, boy. You would drive the hell out of this thing. Come on. I would. It'd be fun. This thing looks f***ing amazing, too. V8 in it, though. Oh, my God. A small block 350 with a four-barrel carburetor. Did you see if it's running Falcon Zeeks? No, I didn't. On the Hybrid? What kind of tires? Falcon Zeeks. What does that mean? It's performance. I was just getting done saying that I got death threats from the minivan fan club. Well, now you get it from the Acura fan club. Well, the Acura fan club, we're talking about the Pacifica. Why do you think they changed the name back to Pacifica? I don't know. Town and country sounds way better. Now, how do you think the people are going to react, the, the real fanboys of the caravan and the town and country, having that model just killed? My boycott and buy a venture i'll tell you one thing i like the pacifica i could see myself having a little trip in it but buick has brownies and, and they're very good brownies they are they had good cookies what do you think of, what do you think of the brownies i'm ready for another one i did not have a brownie i thought they sucked i think they need to go back to whoever they're getting their brownies from and source them from somebody that makes them by hand not this mass-produced shit and welcome to city drive we're going out in the 2016 Fiat 500X Lounge. All right, and moving right along to the agility. We're going to showcase the vehicle's maneuverability to steer through windy roads. We also have electric power steering. So it's going to cause for a uh, reduced effort from the driver, but it's still going to help with your uh, precision. It'll be nice and easy to steer. Oh, God, I just realized the god awful color it is. Uh, what did you think of it? For green. Yeah. So the best part about it is when they say, we're going to take you through the agility course to show you the agility, agility at two miles an hour. At two miles an hour. <laughs> um, I can't tell you what I mean because I don't know. Can you tell me what it is? A Buick Casada. It's a convertible. And it's very convertible because I can't see anything. It's just all open behind me. It's not too bad except the dash that we'll put on here is... Uh, very, very busy. Like, I thought old Honda dashes were busy. Oh, this is super busy. There's 101 buttons, but none of them seem to open the trunk. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you push the logo. Oh. As you can tell, I've just got out of the Sprinter minivan or truck. I had a party with a couple of the locals. See, if it was me driving, I'd drive around with the doors both up like that. It's pretty tough. Wow. They even have the brake pedal with plastic wrap on it. God, horrible interior. It looks like something the Sportage you had with the semi-diamond weave nonsense in there. That's crazy, dude. You have like this much visibility over the steering wheel.
Huh. It's made in Bolo Bologna. Bolognese. Itali. Where's that? In Arizona? I think it's by Tuxkin. Uh, so is this your worst car or what? Yes, this is the worst car I think ever made. Of what year? Any year. In the last... 30? In the, in the, in the 2000s. Alright. Well, well, it's very distracting being in this car when that's in my sight. It says it was inspired by the Bajas of the 1960s, the Beatles. Does it feel like a 1960s Beetle? I don't know. I'm not old enough to know what a 1960s Beetle is like. Well, a 1960s Beetle was like an off-road kind of thing. Does this feel off-roadish to you? No, this feels like I'm going, I'm on a day to go to the beach. That's what I feel like. Yeah, this feels pretty tough in here. This is the new LC Lexus 500, and at first glance you'd think for sure this is a just yet another concept car that will never be made, but it is in fact a production vehicle, which is really cool. Now the thing is, this does borrow the V8 from the RCF and the GSF, so there is some carry over here, but essentially this is a new chassis. This is designed to be a two-door coupe, uh, it also has a new 10-speed automatic, but just overall it looks pretty impressive. And the rumor is that this is going to share some of the bodywork or framework for the new Supra, so that would also be exciting. We're in front of the T-Rex, Scott. What is it? It's a motorcycle. <laughs> I don't know what the hell it is. It's a three-wheeler. Three -wheel Scott, where are we? And the Acura Boof. What are we looking at? The Acura NSX. This, this is all new. Very new. It's your favorite car. This is the 2017 Acura NSX, and I'm sure Honda Pro Jason would argue this is the best car ever designed and created. It has a lot of chrome on it, as you can see. I didn't even notice the chrome, honestly. I didn't even notice the car at all, but I did take a lot of video of it today. you know why? Because it was your favorite car of the year. No, actually, this is my choice for the 2015 worst car of the year. And before I get death threats, between Turbowski and I, we've owned over 10 Hondas in the past 10 years. This NSX is the anti-driver's car. The only thing missing is an autonomous button that will auto-upload your self-driving lap times to Facebook. This makes me fear for what they're going to do to the new S2000. <laughs> We just finished at the Chicago Auto Show. Just blown away. Scott actually had to go to the hospital because it was too much for him, just too intense. So uh, until next year, see you later.